Assalamu alaikum. How can I read namaz as I used to now that I have stopped and I really want to read my namaz and the shaitan keeps coming in my way and stops me. So a uh, bit of advice there for the sister. Uh, the first thing is uh, uh, understanding of namaz, what namaz is. Uh, in, uh, uh, in a hadith uh, uh, that is in Muslim uh, Sharif, Rasul Kareem uh, mentioned that uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divided namaz, meaning uh, uh, Surah uh, Alhamd Sharif, uh, in two parts. So namaz is uh, actually a conversation and you have conversation with somebody, you meet with somebody, then you have a conversation. So if uh, you are not uh, uh, praying, you're not offering your prayer, uh, actually you don't have love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart and you, have, you don't have a desire to meet with him. So first thing is, the, the issue is to have a desire, have a love in, in your heart. And where does the love come from? Uh, there are three things that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed with, uh, three main things. These are the inputs. Two are the inputs. One is eyes. Uh, whatever you look at and if you feel like it is beautiful, you start to love it. And then the second thing is ears. Uh, whatever nice thing you hear about, uh, you want uh, to be close to it. And the third thing is uh, thinking about something. If you heard about something, if you saw something that you like, then you start to think about it. And then uh, the love comes into your heart. So uh, start with uh, thinking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, looking at his signs first. Look at the skies, look at the stars, look at uh, uh, the fruits, uh, look at his creation, and then appreciate uh, whatever he has created. Hear about it. Hear about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, for example, uh, I listen to a lecture uh, about the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then namaz is actually the second part is uh, um, a connection with the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well. Because in namaz, when we're sitting, uh, we are saying salam to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then we are reciting the root uh, upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is uh, uh, one type of connection, a spiritual connection with uh, Rasulullah So first, understand what namaz is. And whenever you say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replies, replies back to you. And he says, uh, my abd has uh, praised me. And then you say Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. And he uh, says, he replies back to you. And then you say Maliki Yawm deen he replies back to you. So. Um, I will inshallah find that hadith and uh, I will send it to uh, uh, to this uh, channel inshallah and uh, it is in, Mus uh, in Muslim. Uh, read that hadith and uh, see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, replies back to his abd. Uh, that is uh, one, one of the things that uh, uh, you know will increase the love of uh, uh, especially the, the prayer, the salah uh, in your heart. So it is actually a meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So think about it, it, it as a meeting. So if your heart is, uh, you don't have a desire to meet with somebody, that means you don't have love for that person. So first, to create love, look at the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, hear about them. Hear about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then start to think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What he has blessed you with without asking for anything. Uh, in return. So he gave you eyes for free. He gave you soul for free. Uh, he gave you the whole body for free and beautiful face and so many things uh, in, in life. So think about the, the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon you and then be appreciative. And then once you have that love in your heart, you will inshallah never miss a prayer. And inshallah you will have uh, the condition of khushu in your heart as well. So uh, recite, uh, read that uh, um, uh, the answers uh, that are mentioned in uh, uh, Sahih al-Muslim and then look at the signs. Second thing, look at the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Think about the blessings uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then 
look at the prayer, think about the prayer as if you are meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are having a conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then inshallah this will this condition will change.